In the previous lecture, we had discussion on prime numbers and composite numbers and there we saw how to find out the total number of factors for a composite number 15 by following the actual method or the conventional method. Now, we are going to have discussion on the shortcut method to find out the number of factors of a given number. And finding out the total number of factors of a given number is our type 1 of the problems asked from the chapter number systems in the examination. So let us move on to our shortcut method. And to understand the shortcut method, we will take the same composite number which is number 15. And in the previous lecture, we found the total number of factors for 15 is equal to 4. And here we will try to have the same answer following the shortcut method. The number one step in the shortcut method is to break 15 or the given number to prime numbers. So let us try to have 15 by multiplying the prime numbers. And for that, we will try to divide 15 by the smallest prime number we can except 1. The number 15 is perfectly divisible by the prime number 3. 15 divided by 3 will give us 5 and 5 is a prime number divisible by itself so we will stop here. So in this way we have two prime numbers and multiplying these two prime numbers 3 and 5 we will have 15. So 15 is equal to 3 multiplied to 5 and power of 3 will be 1 and power of 5 will be 1 as well because we have single 3 here and single 5 as well. Now this form is our standard form to apply the shortcut method. The standard form is number n equal to a power p multiplied to b power q where number n is the number whose total number of factors we are interested to find out. a and b are the prime numbers, p is the power of the first prime number and q is the power of the second prime number. And when we have this standard form, the total number of factors will be equal to p plus 1 multiplied to q plus 1. This will give us the total number of factors. When you compare this with this, you will find p is equal to 1, p is equal to 1 and q is also equal to 1. So the total number of factors of number 15 will be equal to p plus 1 that is 1 plus 1 giving us 2 multiplied to q plus 1 that is 1 plus 1 giving us 2. So we have 4 as the total number of factors of 15 which is same as the answer obtained in the previous lecture. So I hope you now understand the shortcut method and now we will move on to our problem number 1. In this problem we need to find out the number of factors of number 60. There are four options and we need to choose one correct option. So let us move on to the solution. The given number is 60. 60 is perfectly divisible by the prime number 2 which is the only even prime number giving us 30. 30 is again divisible by 2 giving us 15. 15 is divisible by 3 giving us 5. 5 is a prime number. We will stop here and we can write 60 equal to 2 power 2. We have two 2's. So we have 2 power 2 multiplied to 3 power 1 multiplied to 5 power 1. When you compare this with the standard form, you will find p is equal to 2, q is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1. So the total number of factors is equal to p plus 1 multiplied to q plus 1 multiplied to r plus 1. This is equal to 3 multiplied to 2 multiplied to 2 giving us 12 as the answer. So number 60 has total 12 factors. So you can see that the shortcut method is saving us a lot of time to find out the number of factors. And now it is time to have some larger number which we have in our problem number 2. The number is 7200. We need to find the total number of factors of this number. 7200. Perfectly divisible by the prime number 2 giving us 
3600 again divisible by 2 giving us 1800 again divisible by 2 giving us 900 divisible by 2 giving us 450 divisible by 2 giving us 225 this number is not divisible by 2 but it is divisible by prime number 3 it is divisible by prime number 3 because when you add the individual digits 2 plus 2 plus 5 you have 9 and 9 is divisible by 3 so this number 2 to 5 is also divisible by 3 giving us 75 75 is divisible by 3 giving us 25 25 is not divisible by 3 but divisible by 5 giving us 5 as the last prime number now from here we can say that 7200 it is equal to 2 power 5 we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 twos so 2 power 5 multiplied to 3 power 2 we have 2 threes so 3 power 2 multiplied to 5 power 2 we have 2 fives as well now from here we can have the number of factors of number 7200 the number of factors of number 7200 will be 5 plus 1 multiplied to 2 plus 1 multiplied to 2 plus 1 this will give us 6 multiplied to 3 multiplied to 3 which finally is equal to 54 so 54 is the answer of this problem and now we are going to discuss one thing very important in finding out the number of factors and that is to find out the number of odd factors of a given number in order to find out the total number of odd factors we need to focus on the odd prime numbers in this case we have 3 and 5 as the two odd prime numbers power of 3 is equal to 2 power of 5 is equal to 2 so we have 2 plus 1 multiplied to 2 plus 1 this is equal to 3 multiplied to 3 giving us 9 so out of 54 we have 9 odd factors and therefore we can say that the total number of even factors will be equal to 54 minus 9 54 minus 9 will give us 45 there is one more way to find out the number of even factors the number of even factors is equal to the power of even prime number which is 5 in this case multiplied to the total number of odd factors which is 9 giving us the same answer 45 in the next lecture we will solve one more problem on finding out the number of factors but the problem will not have the numbers given like this so i will end this lecture here see you in the next one